Hi there. So this video I plan to talk about Agile Workbench in Pega. So I'm not prepared any uh, presentation, just I plan to discuss uh, Agile Workbench with through the our uh, Pega Academy. So let's start. So Agile Workbench is one of the important role in a Pega development. So while thinking about the uh, agile workbench, just consider the agile word, okay, agile. I hope you heard about the agile methodology, right? So that's one of the most popular uh, software development methodology. So similar action uh, will happen through this agile workbench to uh, similar, not a hundred percentage. So let's see agile workbench so agile work i will uh, zoom in this uh, page okay then i will feel okay so agile workbench is a tool for projects stakeholders and team members that capture real-time feedback about your application and track uh, feature developments So once again, Agile Workbench is tool. That's a tool, okay, for project stakeholders and team members that capture real-time feedback. So they need real-time feedback about your application and track feature development. So generally, when after the completion, only we can uh give the application then user or client will check the application and then only they provide the feedback but agile workbench they will provide the real-time feedback about the application that's the main purpose of agile workbench okay so next one agile workbench supports direct object of capture of objectives okay so this uh, direct capture of objective is one of the uh, plus point or one of the positive side of Pega. So likewise, Agile Workbench support direct capture of object and Agile development. So it's, it's called as a DCO2. So DCO, DCO is the process of defining and uh, managing business objective in your application. By managing feedback and development status directly in your application, you can make application development more efficient. So that's why they are encourage agile work with. So it's, if you track the problems or if you track the uh, bugs through this uh, application while you are developing, that's it's really a very efficient, right? Then no need to the specific time for feedback or no need to the specific time for reallocate every problem. So, Likewise, it will give the good efficiency results through this Agile Workbench. So in typical scenario, just they provide a small scenario okay, here. Uh, typical scenario using Agile Workbench. You walk through or play back each feature of case type with business stakeholders and product owners. During the playback session, if anyone notice bug or recognize change to make your record uh, those box feedback and engagements in the agile work page. So this is the most important. Just this is a great scenario for understanding agile work page. So you walk through the or play back each feature of your case type with the business stakeholders and product owners. Okay, during the playback session, if anyone notice box or recognize change to make. You record those bug feedback and engagement in Agile Workbench. That's a nice no. For example, here, it's a, this example based on the bug. For example, you notice that, I just, I will show the image too. Uh, you notice that the office drop down does not have any option for your select. So you create a bug here. This is a bug. The following image show the case instance where you encode uh, the back on the left and the detail of the new back in right. So here they are going to look at the back here of it. Then they are going to provide the detail about it, like a name. They are going to find the new back. So they mention new back 
of his drop down is missing option. Of his drop down, it's a description about that problem and they will send the association feature. Then they providing uh, the level it's been date when you need to complete that and who's the owner of the project and they will provide the uh, sample attachment for your uh, verification. So you need to search again, you need to start doing, you know, no need to search your application. So go through this uh, attachment, you can simply find, okay, this is a problem or this is a back, a bug. So likewise, this agile workbench is help to find or improve your application. So based on this uh, workbench, we need to understand the work item too. So we will be talking about it next video. So I hope you got a good idea about the, with the basic idea about the workbench. So okay guys, let's check the next video. Thank you so much.